Hello, welcome to Daily Wellbeing with Gemma. This week is National Volunteering Week in the UK and it, a friend of mine brought that to my attention and it got me thinking really about how much volunteering has been and still is a part of my life. So I wanted to share my experience to see if it resonated with you and if you'd thought about building some volunteering into your life. So I guess I really got into volunteering when I was um, at college, so I'd have been about 16, mostly just for the practical career side of things, building the CV. You get taught at that age that it's about employability skills. And I knew I wanted to work in education, so I volunteered in schools for a day a week for about three years. Really such a useful experience for seeing what that world was like, learning some skills on the job. And I really enjoyed it. I had lots of wonderful moments where I was working with the, the children in that school that I really enjoyed having that alongside my studies so I felt like I was doing something as well as learning. When I was at college I was very fortunate to take part in a youth leadership programme which is the start of me having the career that I have today. Um, the gentleman running the program said you know if anybody's enjoyed taking part as a participant you can volunteer to come back and learn how to mentor others and that was the start of me mentoring learning how to be a trainer and eventually setting up my own business so I guess the unexpected effect of volunteering is sometimes it can show you a whole world of work or career options that you wouldn't have necessarily thought about and you get to try it out. I I also think it was really interesting because when I did my teacher training I looked back at the end of the one year and went hold on a minute you never taught us how to do this this that coaching how to manage groups there were certain things that I'd learned in my volunteering that were such important skill sets for my career that they didn't have time to fit into that course so I was really grateful that actually the volunteer experience had really helped me where some of my other course mates hadn't got that. But more so than the practical stuff, I think sometimes when you're volunteering, you meet groups of people who are driven by the passion of whatever it is they're doing to help people. So you might get it in a workplace as well if you're lucky, but some people pick a job, pick a career for very practical reasons and they don't necessarily emotionally engage with it. Whereas volunteering, usually there's a strong emotional element. So you get to meet like-minded people who care about the same causes that you do. And I find that some of my best friendships and you know highest quality friendships are those that I've gained from the volunteering work that I've done because we come at things from the same mindset. So that's a really positive effect of volunteering. As well as seeing people that you're helping you know, learn, grow, or be affected by whatever kind of volunteering you're doing. There's a lot of different types of volunteering out there, and I guess right now during the pandemic, that's probably lit raising awareness of all sorts of other things that could be done. So I tended to do things that were more interpersonal, helping, education-based. But I have enjoyed things such as occasionally helping people we, uh, we went to an old people's home and did some DIY in their kind of outdoor area to make it nice for them. Fundraising for food banks and encouraging people to donate. Um, political campaigning as a form of volunteering. And there are things such as working with helplines that you can do, practical stuff for neighbours. I've really enjoyed seeing people who not not necessarily formal volunteering you can do things informally like cook a really large meal and then ask all the neighbors who wants a portion or just have that kind of sense of community spirit as a form of volunteering so there's so much out there and i think volunteering might be something that you take up in your younger years i know that's how i first got into it because i was in that mindset of wanting to develop my career but even now that i'm sort of settled in my career I still volunteer and I find that I enjoy longer projects you might prefer shorter ones but I really like feeling that I'm using my professional skills um, to kind of help out a project if that makes sense so what I'm working on at the moment is there's a big team of us organizing 
we were supposed to be organising an in-person conference called Togetherland this summer, which is all about strengthening intergenerational partnerships. Unfortunately, we can't do anything in person because it's not safe to do so. Um, and so we're really enjoying working together to be innovative and create an online conference instead. And we've had all sorts of campaigns such as Acts of Kindness, um, Intergenerational Stories of Connection, we're having facilitated conversations and then it all leads up to a digital festival called Together Learn. So I absolutely adore being part of this group of people who are really passionate about a cause. We're getting to learn and play together. We're getting to put on something that we know is quite transformative and special and unique and we're all getting to kind of develop our skills and test ourselves along the way. So learning how to do certain things online is challenging but exciting. And so I think one of the, the understated things about volunteering can sometimes be how much it pushes you and how much it bonds you with people that you might not necessarily get to interact with in your normal everyday connections. Um, I can po I'll post some details about the Act Together events in case you want to participate. But the purpose of this video really was to get you thinking about what have your experiences of volunteering been, if you've had any? What motivated you and what, what did you get out of it? Not just practically, but maybe emotionally, maybe spiritually. And if you haven't had a go at volunteering, is there a way you could build something into your life, even if it's only an hour a month? Or maybe you can do something a little bit more committed. Because I think... It really does add to your well-being to feel like you're doing something purposeful, to know you're doing something that helps others. And then when you see the impact of that help on others or you see it make them smile or they learn something or they get something, that then gives you an added emotional boost as well. So it's a really positive for well-being all the way around. And I hope it's something that you get the chance to explore at the moment while we've got this little bit of thinking time and this chance to kind of reassess our lifestyles. So I'd love to hear your ideas. Thanks for listening and I will see you next time. Bye.